Hello. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Red Feather Free. Today I'm going to show you how I make a vegan fruit smoothie with protein. Yes, that's right. I use hemp seeds for my protein. Right here I have about six tablespoons worth of hemp seeds which equates to roughly 20 some odd grams of protein and or two servings of the hemp seeds that I'm going to add in my smoothie. Today's smoothie is going to consist of frozen peaches. Mm -mm -mm. A little leftover of the frozen mango I have here. I might add some more. I got another bag. Organic bananas. Not all of these, but they're going to be good. You see how beautiful and spotted they are? Those are perfect, aren't they? Just perfect. And this pineapple, boy, I had for a while, and I was not really certain if it was going to be good, so I was like, mm, let, me, let me try it here. It actually, the inside's still pretty good, so we're not going to waste anything, because, you know, as I say, waste not, want not. This right here, operation is going to take some interesting doing because I've only got the one hand. <clears throat> I guess I'll just set you up right here. There we go. Good deal. You can see how this bad boy works. This is a pineapple core and it makes your life so much easier. It really gets in there quickly to extract the pineapple. So, I use this blender pretty good it's uh, not the top top of the line but it's been very reliable thus far we've had it almost a year mm, boy that's gonna be good so I just take it and so there's a pineapple next I usually add my bananas I think I'll use about maybe five or six for this particular um, smoothie because I'm going to share it with somebody else. Yeah, it's kind of like our, our brunch, breakfast slash lunch. My roommate and I, we both are um, vegans and Pythagoreans. Uh, my roommate by default, she's Pythagorean because I don't eat beans. She has respect for me and doesn't eat beans either because, you know, what would be the point of bringing beans in the house if the other person doesn't eat them? But we live as minimally as we can by eating as wholesomely as we can, and it, it's a balance that you have to walk. Uh, I would actually like to have fruit smoothies all the time, but we're still, I, I, I'm fond of anyways, having cooked meals uh, at, in the evening time. It's just something you know, I was raised with. So I try to stick to raw foods as much as I can until, you know, like Freely the Banana Girl talks about the raw till four diet. That's uh, that's one thing that I don't I don't stick to any like actual dogmatic diet. I, I kind of eat when my body's telling me I need to eat, but through practice, meditation, I've trained myself that what I was taught growing up about food and needs and caloric intake and things like that are basically wrong and, and wrong-headed, misguided. Our bodies are like cars, and they require fuel. And you can put several different grades of fuel into your car. Sugar is like high octane fuel, okay? Fats like low, real low octane, maybe even some ethanol in there. It's not real good food. Protein's kind of medium grade. It's even high octane too, depending on what you're doing. If you're trying to build muscle, then you might need a little protein extra. But if you are trying to survive and be healthy and extend the longevity of your life, well then, fruit-based diet is probably the way to go. Fruits and grains are so healthy for you. Since I've started, I've lost a considerable amount of weight. I thought I was down to a very lean um, trim frame before just being a plain vegetarian, but once I went vegan and Pythagorean and began going more towards a raw food during the day diet, my body fats just began to disappear. My energy levels my overall stamina, my, my health, my feelings of well-being, if you will, have increased all across the board. I mean, I'm right now, I began being a vegan October. I stopped eating beans sometime in like March, I believe. And that's tough. That's really tough because soy is like in everything. I mean, everything. Um, but at one point in my life, I was... A bodybuilder where I lifted weights a lot and I was about 230 pounds and I had about 13% eh, body fat to 10% depending on how 
lean I was and how much I starved myself at the time. But I had to eat so much protein to get there and I had to just destroy myself in the gym. Since I've been walking kind of like my path and just living gracefully in, in nature and not overexerting myself too much, I've um, since become healthier. My body's aches and pains have started to subside a little bit. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to be able to, to heal myself because, you know, honestly, I got out of the military because I had to have neck surgery. That's another reason why I lost so much weight is because I couldn't go into the gym and lift all these heavy ass weights anymore. So I had to figure out something else, an alternative strategy in my life. And well, basically, it's not a good idea to eat a super high protein, high fat diet if you're not going to be extreme, uh, exerting yourself super extremely or extraneously. You know, I was kind of eating a diet that an Olympic athlete or a really elite pro college athlete would be would be eating. And since I realigned my life and began doing less impactful things like Tai Chi and, and Zen Buddhism and yoga and just more lower impact activities like that, my body's been requiring less of the real hard stuff because you need protein when you destroy your body. Because when you, when you bodybuild and weight lift, you're actually destroying your body tissue. You're breaking it down so that it regrows stronger and bigger. And that's pretty much the principle of all um, practice of life. But there are more gentle ways to do this. Weightlifting and bodybuilding are very violent and very hard on your body. Take it from me, I know. Um, so if one can manage to live by eating more or less candy, which is what this equates to in my, my view. I'm about to have a candy smoothie. Get it all in there. Get in there. Uh, we almost got it all in there. Um, yes, yeah, so I washed my hands beforehand, even though you can't see that. Uh, but this is going to be so good. Then why not? You know, and also it's relatively cheap compared compared to your alternatives, your options. suggest putting the hemp seed in first with a little bit of water to make like a uh, almost like a hemp seed milk I like the uh, the crunchy kind of chewiness of the hemp seed so I like to put it in afterwards and, and blend it in like that it's so good Watch my hand. we're almost done Really, this is way more easy than I'm making it look. You know, I'm going like all out. You can do something super, super simple. I, I highly suggest my motto, keep it super simple. Kiss, okay? Kiss all of you. give it a shot. You know, you, you should probably blend it longer, but I'm just making this video one take for you to show you how easy this is. This lifestyle is not hard, and it's not super duper expensive. Organic bananas here where I live are 68 cents a pound. This big bag of frozen peaches, I believe, was 10 bucks, and at Costco I got this big thing of organic mangoes, which I didn't use, actually. I conserved. Um, it's like $7.99. You know, that may seem like a lot, but when you can get a really nutritious and healthy meal out of it for two people each and every day for several days on end, I mean, it's a good deal. The lifestyle is up to you. There's choices to be made in this world, principles and stands to take. And you shouldn't be like over proud of being a, a vegan or a Pythagorean or anything like that. It's a, it's, a, it's a choice that I just make because I have a responsibility, I feel 
to all other living creatures. And plants are living creatures as well, but they live to sustain the living, breathing, walking, moving, slithering, crawling, flying creatures. The other, you know, slithering, moving, crawling, flying, running creatures on Earth that aren't human beings, they're still subject to the, the rules of nature specifically. They don't have free will. They're in a situation of survival. Unlike human beings where we freed ourselves from the yoke of nature's impetus and given ourselves this society, this civilization, this cocoon that allows us free choice and allows us ease, we no longer are bound by nature's obligation to hunt and kill other animals. Therefore, we can be philosophically pure in what we take into our body, or at least as close to it as we can we can get it. So, cheers, thank you, and I hope that you like the pineapple banana uh, banana peach smoothie with hemp seeds. Enjoy. Oh my God, is good. This is stupid. Stupid good. Try it. Thanks. Peace. This is Red Feather out.